So Zplane just came out with a new plugin called Peel Stems. It looks like this here on the right side. It's basically an update to the old Peel plugin, which was a spectral filtering plugin. And they added four new knobs here called drums, bass, vocals, and other. And um, which means you can separate stems in real time or turn down the volume in real time. And when I first heard this, I couldn't believe it. So I had to try this out. And I want to give you here some examples in this video. Um, I think the cross crate only costs 20 bucks and if you are a new customer it costs around 40 bucks so it's not very expensive. So inside of Bitwig here I have this already loaded up on the master. Okay. So I give you here an example for this track I let this play. So let's just remove everything except the drums, right? And you can hear there are some spectral artifacts, but this is, you know, you get this with every stem separation plugin because it's a spectral process and you have some pre-ringing, you have some smearing in there. It doesn't get better. In my opinion, this is pretty impressive in real time. I mean, it's not really real time. You have a latency here of, let me see. Um, can we see this actually here? Um, around 400 milliseconds uh, latency. So yeah, every, all plugins together have basically 600 milliseconds of um, latency. Uh, so there's a bit of lag in there. So you can't really use this in real time. Like you play on the keyboard, right? And then you filter out in real time everything. Um, that's, that's not really possible, but you still don't need to leave the door. You can do this in the door basically and play around here with the knobs and try to separate stuff. You can see here it's on the master. It's after limiting and compressing and uh, also hard clipping here. So there's a lot of processes going on and still does a decent job in my opinion to separate these things here, right? We can also go here into Another project is also a track of mine. It's also heavily compressed and limited, but there are some vocals in there. So let's try this out here on this one. Also here, in my opinion, it works very well. Um, if you keep in mind, this is in real time and also uh, this track or this master is heavily compressed and clipped. And also there's a lot of reverb on the vocals in there. I worked a lot with uh, sidechain compression, compression and so on. So it's a very heavy task for such a tool to do this in real time, but still it works very well in my opinion. Um, I think this works the best if you use, um, let's say, uh, highly dynamic material. So songs, pop songs or uh, classic songs from the 80s, 70s, 60s and so on. Um, and, and extract vocals from these kind of tracks. I mean, I could show you this in this video, but then the video probably get flagged for a copyright. So I can't really show you this. I can only show you this here on my own tracks. Okay, here's another example. I'm using here a song by Gatwick called Carousel. Sounds like this. You can also here use this fader to increase the separation precision. So 
So I guess lower values are basically more forgiving. And um, yeah, this is highly precise. So it tries to really curve out everything. Let's try this here in the intro maybe. To see, not one away right for me. Go ahead, let me. You can still hear the reverb from the vocals, but this is expected, I guess. But if you have this master basically here or your this mp3 in your collection and you think oh well the vocals are way too quiet right so you put this on and just turn up here the volume just by 6db or turn everything down and then you get more more of the vocals So yeah, it's not perfect, but it's in real time. You can use it in any DAW. You don't need to use an external uh, software, external application, import the track, export the stems, import it back into the DAW. You can basically play, play around with this here inside of your current DAW and then uh, bounce it to another track or just you know remix it here or change the volume of certain stems. So it's probably a neat tool. I have to play around with this here a bit more to get some experience with it. Uh, but I want to let you know that this plugin just came out. Maybe there's a demo or trial version on the website. I have no idea. I put you the link in the description below. I'm not affiliated, uh, by the way. I just saw this in my uh, inbox. And yeah, I thought I'd give it a try. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave me feedback, of course, in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.